Hi, I'm Gretchen, Managing Director and Financial Planner at Magenta. In this video, I'm going to talk about some of the financial challenges women face and how we can overcome these. We know everyone fin faces financial challenges in life, but in our experience, women face some specific challenges that sometimes others don't. Put simply, women spend much of their lives caring for others, be that children, parents or partners, and then neglect a solid financial foundation. However, they also survive for longer and require more financial resources in old age. We've also some other real hurdles to get over, including the invisible glass ceiling, which really is a thing, the gender pay gap, which again, really continues to be a thing, um, overlapping duties, we all know the stats about who, all those unpaid labour hours at home. Inadequate financial literacy, because sadly, women also tend to have worse economic literacy skills and typically have more credit card debt, defaulted loans and other unpaid obligations. And also, they're less confident when managing their cash flow with a lower propensity for taking on financial tasks. If you are a woman juggling work, home life and finances and are struggling to keep on top of it all, here's five steps that I think you can follow. Step one, create a realistic budget and a spending plan. Budgets are boring, I know, but they can help. They can help you with saying no to loved ones and aid you if you're an emotional spender. Prioritising our spending allows us to use our money for those things that we decide are important to us. So take 30 minutes to calculate how much you've got coming in and going out each month so you don't lose track of your money. You can simply record this by hand on a piece of paper, use financial software or a spreadsheet. Losing track of spending is not a mistake. It's an easily fixed behaviour. Stick within your budget, take it first one month at a time, but then you'll get into a routine. Step two, leave room for emergencies. Well, no one can predict the future. When life throws us curveballs, will you be ready? Make sure you've an emergency fund or your own private fund for the future in case this is needed. I'd always aim for between three to six months spending for this type of fund. Step three, start to educate yourself about money. It's within your power to choose to be money orientated what you want to have in what do you want to have in your life what is it that really excites you what do you want to spend on what do you want to achieve think big and write those things down what's important to you and are they in alignment with your core values just make a list and start to think about it then monthly take some time to really think about those things how you might be able to achieve them and how you can save for them Four, step four, hire a financial planner. A financial planner can help with a forecast to help you see what your future holds and whether you'll be able to afford to live the life you want in your retirement. You might already have a bad feeling about what this might show, but don't worry, working with a good financial planner can help you face the truth and assist you in making good financial changes and good decisions in the future. A good financial planner will help you to look at this objectively and work with you to design the best personal financial plan possible with your resources that you have. Step five, ask for help. Don't be afraid to reach out when you feel stuck. Financial challenges aren't rare and they don't discriminate, yet women face more of an uphill battle than most men, but we're all going through it. As women, we must overcome economic adversity with intelligent choices by sharing things and hopefully lead to better financial independence. In conclusion, while planning for the future is important to everyone, women have special considerations to make. But for those looking to make the most of their financial futures, you shouldn't let the challenges you face hold you back from getting on track with the aim towards your living your best life. Financial planning, whether solo or with the assistance of a professional, can definitely make a significant difference. If you decide you want to work with a financial planner,
do call me for a chat. I understand the financial ambitions and concerns of women and we will work with you to make sure you are comfortable and well informed. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you would like or share it to your network, it would be most appreciated. Thank you for listening.